Hey guys, what is going on? This is LarkNuck1 slash Addict, and welcome back to part 6 of my Let's Play of Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. Last time we had our workers working on a bunch of bio wells. Um, we're really critically trying to bring our health up. We're also trying to improve our city growth in Tiangong, Huyin, and Ninit Tin. Um, the one of the next goals after that, I suppose, that I have is to build a road to Huanlei and begin improving Gongrend and Huan uh, in Huanlei. So right now we're teching alien life forms. The goal here is to get to alien preserve. Um, the reason we're doing that, as I recall from last time, is that we have the option to go tactical robotics, power systems, or autonomous systems for supremacy points, but all of them don't give anything else really in addition to the supremacy points, whereas the alien preserve tech um, that's going to quest to give us some supremacy points uh, because of one of our quests and It's actually just a good building that we want to have So that is the plan so far uh, We have a PAC Explorer right now. I'm gonna see if I can't get him over by the crash satellite We're probably gonna have to bring in our Marines here Also last time we were able to clear out the aliens down here. So now they are pretty, pretty uh, wiped off the face of this planet so here, we've got more trader outs uh, pumping out of Tiangong. That's what we're doing with Tiangong right now. And let's go ahead and check where we have those trader outs going. I always forget to start the timer. All right, so let's see where we've put the trader outs. So right now, we've got one from Kugan to Citadella and two from Tiangong going to distinct places. So let's go ahead and change this one to Minute 10 deserves, actually no. Hmm. Minute 10 is actually growing faster than Kuyan. Let's send this one right now to... That's probably not going to work out for the best, is it? Let's actually go with Minute 10 here. See if we can't give Minute 10 another trade convoy. Heal up our tack jets just in case we need them. And next turn. We also have a soldier up here who just healed the full. And we're going to be sending him north to see what he can't do. Oh lord, I love the animations in this game. Alright, march, my veteran marines. March. Alright, so there's a wolf beetle there. Let's just heal up and uh, wait for some reinforcements. I think the tack jets can bomb that guy. Alright, yeah, the tack jets are gonna eat this guy for dinner. Oh buddy, oh pal, you're getting eaten. Let's move him up. I'm glad it's not like, quite like Civ 5, where if you try to move something while a bomb bombing is going on, it kind of just fly around in circles forever. I'm glad they've uh, at least done away with that. Alright, so we finished our trade route in Ganza Rigs. Now, the real question is, Recycler? Vivarium? Clinic? I think Recycler is probably the safest option right now. Ganza Rig seems to be growing at a healthy pace, especially considering we're going to have two farms, followed by a fruit that's improved, and then we have two good production sources. Actually, this is a not really a production source, is it? It's kind of a mixed tile. Um, I suppose after we get the vivarium, that'll improve it a bit. Oh, it'll actually improve the hill, too, with the food there. And not here. These are all desert tiles. Um, I still think that the recyclers is the safest option. It'll improve our production for later. I tend to think that I should always go trade route recycler. Um, I'm not totally fixed to that. Sometimes I deviate, but... Okay, so we have a lot of options here. But this trade with Citadel looks absolutely fantastic. Um, question is, I'm definitely going to do that trade route with either the first or the second. Question is whether or not I want to do it now or with this trade route that I'm going to be getting in one turn. So I'm thinking that for now we do... Who is going to be consistently a little slower? I guess Gong Ren. So let's trade with Gong Ren here. Is the way that they calculate yields on trade routes is... You, the size of the city trading, how much larger is it than the, side, the size of the city it's trading with? For internal trade routes, at least. Which doesn't really make all that much sense, um, but that's how it works. So I expect Gongreng to be slower, getting up to pace, so they're the best trade route partner. So that's going to speed up our growth, speed up our uh, production, and in at 10, and get us rolling. Onwards. I suppose it's a good thing we're getting our bios up soon. Lab in Tuyen. They are invading my marines. Let's see if they get hit by that drone too. Alright, no. 
I love this juicy, juicy science we're getting out of this. Alright, so our marine can go ahead and heal up in the city. Speed that up a little bit. And let's send another trader out to Ninit him. See if we can't start that trader out with Citadella. Alright, so here's an interesting choice. We can either go between the plus 5% production for military units from Saturn Nurseries, or with the plus 1 production from Saturn Nurseries in general. Um, this will pay off a little bit more in the late game, especially if military units are going to be an issue and we want to pump them out quickly. But I think this is just more general purpose. So I, I like to go with this one, especially because the Saturn Nursery tends to be a bit of an earlier building. I feel like I get a little more out of it. Although I'd have to do the math if I really wanted to go into it. I suppose doesn't quite matter. So we're just going to chill here for now because, again, last time we sent an explorer onto that tile, he got eaten at the beginning of the game. Uh, we could heal here, but I think I just want to go back into Gong Ren and heal that guy up to full. So we did finish our first bio well. And that's actually quite good. Now, I would like to get more bio wells up. So we do have a bunch of energy. We're not spending much of it right now. Let's see if I can't buy a plane's tile. Alright, that's just 55 energy. Not bad. I just want to get Huyin growing, because it does have a considerable growth problem. Now, here's the other thing about this game that's very strange sometimes. Um, they just won't prioritize growth, and at least the auto, like, default thing when you're unhealthy. Um, and, yeah, I don't really know why. So, as you see here, Kuyin's not growing for 21 turns. And growth, like I said, is critical to getting your health up, oddly enough. So, let's just see, just, you know, switching this over a little bit. I don't think production's going to be too much of an issue for the city. So, if you look now at the stats up here, we've got 14 production, uh, 0.62 food. So, let's see what happens if we just change that around a bit. 14 production, 0.62 food. And... Okay. So now we have about 4 food and 11 production. So we only lost 3 production for 4 food, really. Um, and that, just if you look at that, that's an enormous difference. We went from 22 turns to just 4. We can probably do the same thing over in Init 10. Uh, I guess we can't, because we have no good food sources over here. <laughs> um, maybe we could do it in the capital? You see, it's only when you really open up your cities like this that you realize that, yeah, this city has actual food problems. Um, like, real big food problems. It only has two, three tile foods, and that's it. And, you know, bio wells will help out a lot. One bio well here, one bio well there, one bio well there. It's going to make a huge difference. Okay, so now the question is, do we keep building more trade routes? What am I doing? Um, or do we build the petrochemical plant to get everything start rolling? Um... We did just finish the trade route in Ganserig. Um, and it is going to be growing soon, so it will benefit from trade routes with Gong Ren, from Huanlei. So that might be the most ideal situation. Or we could go with the petrochemical plant. Um, this is also about to finish the trade depot. I think we should go with more trade routes, because we're not even done with Kuyin, really. So let's build another two of these. And then we'll, we'll, we'll assess the problem again and see whether or not it is more apt for one of these side cities to produce it. So we did finish our vivarium now, so Ninit Tin is growing up to good old speed. So the question is, do what, what is most critically needed right now? Um, Ninit Tin has two city health, so we could go for a pharma lab and that would get us up to speed. I think that's probably the best option, considering in five turns we'll be at five, and the pharma lab will hit five. So that seems like a good idea. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Energy is not going to be much of an issue, nor is science with our trade route that we're going to be doing to Citadella next turn. So let's go with... What did I... Just, uh, Pharma Lab. I <laughs> just blanked there for a moment. Okay. Looks good. We need to get our health up. It's super critical. I want to get it to negative 10. Slavs just done diddly got wrecked. Unsurprisingly, it grows, reproduces, dies... And cannot understand French. Okay, Slavs. I feel for you. Let's see who took it. Okay, uh, Brasilia took it. And they're starting a new city down here. So Brasilia looks like they must have just jumped up some in the scores. Uh-huh. 264 points. I'm sure that'll go up once they actually found that city down there. <coughs> Woo! 
had to sneeze. Okay, we're sitting nicely at 278. And we do have two players above us, which are going to cause us some trouble as the game goes on. Hopefully, we'll just outpace them. All right, so this trade just looks so good. What? Oh, when did that happen? It's, it's four food and five production. This is good. Oh, I don't know. Energy, the science is so critical. I mean, it's literally giving me more than 10% of my current science. And the energy is nice too. Um, you know, I feel like sometimes I need to justify doing something like this because uh, the game doesn't give particularly good re I, I still don't know how internal international versus internal trade rates are balanced. This just looks really good, so I'm going to take it up. Even though it's, pa it's steam powering Citadella. Uh, if, that, if one of these trade rates gets killed, though, oh, I'll probably not renew it. I suppose the good thing here is that um, they're relatively cheap to replace. Only two turns. So, yeah. Alright, so we did just finish Alien Life Forms. So now the question is, do we want to gun our science stuff? I think yes. I think now is the time to pick up something like the Neuralab. And the rest is really going to be up to our workers to get done. Uh, we might want to pump more of those out in the short term. Right now, I do want to go power systems. It's really... I didn't notice this before, but actually the plus one production from Quarry is actually going to help us a little bit. Because we do have Basalt here. Um, so that'll be a decent tile, I suppose, afterwards. But that's really all we're getting out of it. <coughs> Not because I want to do... I want to get my supremacy points up. I honestly think that's the best option right now. Um, the rest is just city building. We need to get our cities up to speed. We need to get roads to them. We need to get food. We need to get to healthy. Uh, that's critical. So, we do need culture too, so that's why the alien preserve is nice. Alright, so let's go power systems. Six turns, we'll have it. Damn, the siege rooms are scary. Scurry stuff. Did we get the siege room quest? We haven't killed the siege room. Um, forget how good tack jets are. I don't think good enough. I think they get one shot. I think they need to be needle jets to do serious damage. See if we can't get our planes up north and at least help uh, kill the aliens north near Gongren. It's always important to be very maneuverable with your planes. So you don't want to get lazy and just keep them in one place. Right, we did just finish our lab, which is very nice. Um, in Kuyan. And Kuyan's growing a lot faster now, so we will be hitting four in just two turns. I'm thinking we could either go farm a lab or we could invest in the auto plant, which will give us long-term, really solid production. Um, this city's really just lacking food right now. I mean, the second that it has enough people to be working all these tiles, um, it's, it'll be in a better place. But I'm thinking I want to pick up the auto plant, actually. It's such a good building. It's going to take a while, sure. Um, but I don't see any total downside to it. So let's go ahead and pick up our auto plant. We just finished our fruit, so now we can actually move on from Ganzerig. It is... Doesn't quite need our attention for a while. And we got another trader out out of Tiangong. So let's see where we can send that. We can send one to Kuyin and two to Ganzerig. Um, I'm thinking we put one in Kuyin right now. See if we can't get it some extra food in production to help it get the uh, auto plant a little faster. And Jamabari just still wants me to not kill aliens. Uh, too bad, buddy. But that's not what I'm gonna say because uh, you don't you don't be mean to the AI in this game. Cause then they're mean back to you. Oh, that's funny fun. Thanks for uh, killing my road there, bruh. All right. In this thing. No, we get wrecked. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. All right. Just go up north and start bombing those things. All right. We're just gonna wait for him to leave. I don't want to piss him off. I don't really have any tier like two gunners to really deal with it. So see, here's something nice. Now Kuyin can actually get food out of trade routes. Um, like we said, Gongren is like the long-term basic building, and that's why it's giving it really such a nice yield. So that's that's amazing. If you see here, we have 18 turn auto plant, and that's going to really cut it down. Oh my bad, Gongren. Let's see. 13 turn auto plant, just like that. And as the population comes on, that's actually going to be even shorter. So... The question is now, we have two more trade routes available in Ganzerig. I think it's probably worth it to build them. 
Um, the petrochemical plant, again, it's going to take a while to pay off. Um, although it does quest for an incredible amount of stuff. So, let's see. Uh, it's just such, I don't know. I guess, it's just four turns. It will quest eventually for something great. It'll improve Chang Gong's stuff. It'll all be nice and beautiful. Oh, we did get another trader out, so that's nice. Um, let's go straight to Ganzering. And see if we cannot. Can we actually use these planes? No, not until next turn. Uh, let's just have this guy go right there. Anything that comes at him is going to get absolutely obliterated by attack death. We actually can't get home with this guy. Um, okay then. Alrighty then. Uh, I guess I could build a bio well over here. Not a bad idea. Let's heal him up though. It's kind of bothersome right now that you can't heal workers in cities. I'm sure that'll eventually come in a patch, but until then, no siree. We did get access to this fruit now, so actually we can improve Kuyun further with food. And the one lone alien tries to take out our marine. I'm not sure where the siege were moved. Bomb bombarded. Let's see if we can't do some serious work with these tech jets. Tech jets are love, tech jets are life. We're just gonna heal. I mean, I don't have any reason not to. Alright, so let's see if we can improve this. And get our marine down in front. I want to honestly put my marine like here, just kill the nest, and then get this guy on the- I swear to god if he starts it. Because if you start it, I believe no one else can. Um, he should get rickety wrecked by this, but I mean, sometimes the AI just pulls crazy bullshit. So, we don't want anything that goes through here, honestly, because, yeah, good reasons. But the best yields are through here. <laughs> Why, Daddy? <laughs> um, the only one that's not is Gongren. In the long term, it's supposed to be better. <laughs> oh, it is. This is the only one where Ganzerig gets real stuff. Other cities doesn't get anything. Alright, so let's go here. Oh, the bad thing is the aliens could just wreck it. Uh, hopefully they don't. Can always happen, though. They're coming. They want them. They're hungry. They've come for supper. Did he get wrecked? Yeah, I salute him. He died. He died an honorable. Not really, but whatever. Um. Well, that is not good. It's kind of douchey on the uh, on the wolf beetles part. Just kill this guy, and we'll get him home. Back to Gunren. Am I gonna have to make gunners to deal with this? I really don't wanna. I don't wanna build cities. No, I, I like I like cityscaping in mid-game. Alright, go back. Oh, you... <laughs> okay, so I don't know if it actually just takes the thing. It might... What it might do is it might make questing something impossible, but that's not a quest at Crash Satellite, it was just from the beginning of the game. Um, I could kill it, but I mean, attacking attacking explorers is not easy anymore. They made it harder. Um, so this is actually supposed to drop our economy down. I suppose it is. We still have the trade routes with Citadella, which is nice. And these are just great food tiles. Let's make sure it's working them. This growth is critical. And let's lock that into place, and you know what, let's lock this one into place as well. Just so it grows maximally. Alright, so now here's the final time to get uh, Thorn Reactors. We haven't got this quest for a while. We should have probably gotten it a bit earlier, but it's a bit random. So this one is just going to go... I like five energy Thorn Reactors. I just think they're cool. Um, I like to dedicate one building to just like hardcore energy. And I think the Thorium quest is that is the one for that, because it really is one production or two energy. Whereas a lot of the time it's like one production or one energy, so... It, it's just a bit more fair on the on the balance side. What is our capital? Right, petrochemical plant. This is acceptable. 
Please, aliens, just rickety, rickety wreck him. Oh, he just he just took it in in two turns. The All right. Of an artificial power okay, AI. Beneath. An ecosystem powers itself. When humanity learns to live in harmony with its surroundings, we will reap the same benefits of power. The first five machines of Earth are the wheel, the lever, the inclined plane, the dynamo, and the screw. Okie dokes, time to do stuff. Uh, so the gunner here. Um, at level two, we get our gunner. So you can do that. Well, I don't know why you would. You can do that, which is good. That's solid. I like that. Makes me happy. All right, so we did finish a trader out. So let's see if we can't get one a little better. This is gonna give production to Tiangong, but mad growth in it. Ten. It's even more production, but oh, this is growth to Fukuyan. Fukuyan's a bit behind. I mean, I don't know. Tiangong gets the same amount of production either way. The difference is five food or one food, and where where we're putting it really. I feel like Kuyin in the long run is just going to be a lot better because we have already started the auto plant. Let's just do Ninit Tin a solid. Okay, well, screw you, you know, and everything you stand for. We're just going to keep our army here. And that's scary. Where's this guy? Oh, oops. I, I wanted to just look at the trade convoy, but that's nice too. Um, he'll probably go like that. As long as the Caesar Room doesn't go right there, he'll live. I think the Tactics can actually survive as long as the Siege Room gets weak enough. But it's definitely not weak enough. <laughs> not right now, at least. Um, yes. So we could build, uh, what do you call them? Rangers and get to work on this Siege Room. And it's going to give us a crap ton of science. Because we're talking uh, 60 science from killing it because of our thing. And then the quest itself... Uh, it doesn't say here, but it's it's a pretty significant yield in science, culture, and don't remember the third one. Anyways, we got our pharma lab done here, which is going to improve our health a little bit. Again, health is a bit of an issue, but it, you can't really minimalize it to zero city health until you hit like four or five when you start building the health uh, buildings without it being like a massive downside to the city. So we can now build either the old earth relic, the thorn reactor, or the auto plant. That could be good. Um, or the lab. I'm thinking we could do Old Earth Relic Lab and then pick up the auto plant. I just want to get these nice, great buildings that have amazing yields out earlier so I can get to doing stuff that I want to do. And then the auto plants can come a little bit later. Alright, so we did just pick up power systems. Now, I think we can pick up either autonomous systems or we can go tactical robotics. This is going to give us access to the Affinity 4 unit. The question is, is do we can we use it the second we get this tech? So this is going to give us 21 points in Supremacy, and we need, looks like, 11 for this level, and then probably 14, maybe 15 for the next level. Doesn't look like we're actually going to get it with a Tactical Robotics, so I think we're better off with Autonomous Systems right now. Um, yeah, we don't have level 4 yet, so it looks like we might need to pick up both of these for level 4, unfortunately. Unless one of these gives more. No, the same. The other thing we could do is, um, no, I think that's the best option right now. We just want to get our points up a little higher. Eventually, the mag rails might be a good idea. I don't really like to start them until I'm um, at least three. Um, let's just pick up one of these then. All right, looks good. Just heal our marine right on up. And it looks like our trade convoy survived that siege worm. Uh, it's a good thing he's attacking Gung Ren. We don't have anything for him to hurt there. And this guy can actually go ahead and heal that. I wanted to add a biowell over there, but, you know, healing this road is a little more important. Well, I don't know what I did. Nothing, really. But Jinsoku Lab's yield just increased a, a lot, apparently. So let's go ahead and see what that did. What are we getting from Jinsoku Labs now? Uh, probably won't update until next turn. But, or alternatively, when this trade road back and we started again. It does say plus six, plus five, plus one, <coughs> which I thought was the original. I mean, he's coming back now, it looks. Well, that just about wraps it up for this episode. Um, I didn't get quite as much as I wanted done, but we did just start a little more development in these cities. We put up some more bio wells. Haven't quite yet solved our health problem. And this asshole just shanked what we've been aiming for with this little parade over here. Whatever. 
Um, see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.